Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Jim Jordan has to restore order to the chaos that Democrats continually bring into Congress. He stated that he did not feel comfortable meeting with the Democrats. He's comfortable being here today in open this open forum. We will be questioning him. Will you give us a copy of that testimony that was transcribed of your discussions with him? It'll be up to Mr. Allen. Um, but you are in possession of them, aren't you? Sure are. So why would you not give them to us? Mr. Allen's a whistleblower and he didn't want that to happen. We'll he talk didn't to want, him. but he's ha ha comfortable here in open discussion with us today. Sure is. You can ask him questions if you want. You, you don't share the, your information with the minority? Nope. The whistle. No, so that, you're not sharing that, information the, that the whistle, you've obtained with the, with the, the whistleblower, was, the whistleblower saw what you did with uh, Mr. Friend and others, the, the false information you gave the press so much no. so that they had to issue corrections. The whistleblower no. doesn't we've decide seen, that. The committee decides it. And, and we've decided. And you've so decided that decided you're not going to gonna Mr. share. Mr. Allen is here. You can ask him questions. And we can, we can talk about the testimony, but right now you're not getting the testimony. Mr. But Allen's you, here to testify. And you'll give us the testimony when? After he's left or at no point in time? Or when will we have that? That's only for the Republicans. Is that what you're saying? Mr. Chairman, the, the general lady did not state a point of order. The point of order the was, will he order. be giving us the testimony of the witness that is here before us? So you have no point of order, which means Chairman Jordan is being very generous allowing you to have the microphone at this point. This is absolutely ridiculous. And there's a reason why Democrats are so mad and it's beautiful. Good play by Jim Jordan because it's only going to get crazier. It's and that you order. have General, information Mr. Ch Mr. of that you are not sharing Mr. with Mr. the Chairman, Democrats. Mr. Chairman, I moved that her I, was, her... I was indulging the ranking uh, member. The gentleman from California is right. She's not stated a point of order. The, the, the five-minute questioning uh, time So the point of order is Sanchez. I would like the testimony. I move that you give us the testimony of the individual. Move to table. Here. Point of inquiry. Okay. It's my understanding that the minority in this committee under the rules is entitled to the same testimony, information, documents that the majority uh, is entitled to. So, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not aware that you're able to withhold information from the minority that we would new, need to use to no. prepare for a... When it comes to whistleblowers, you're not. And I would just, I would just remind the committee, remind whistle... everyone, look, Mr. when it comes Chairman, to whistleblowers, right. you are not. That's not right. It's it's shocking that the that's not right. It's shocking that fact, the gentleman so much about Mr. the whistleblower Chairman, and the impeachment. It's shocking that the gentleman from New York of the information that we had when you were part yes, of an investigation with an anonymous whistleblower. You had. And that is how Congress is supposed to work. The chairman says yes or no uh, to whether people can speak. However, everyone's allowed a chance, right? Well, if he gives time to someone else, someone may offer an inquiry. However, the Democrats don't really have a leg to stand on here and they're just blathering on at this point and it's, the chaos is about to hit in just a few moments. Hey y'all, as we know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket, right? So that's why I'm partnering over with my friends at Colonial Metals Group who will help diversify your portfolio. And what they'll do is they'll set up for you a self-directed IRA account. You'll have direct access to your assets. You'll be able to see what all's going on. And it doesn't matter what the stock market does or what often happens, what the government does, your assets will be protected. So let the team of experts over at Colonial Metals Group help secure your account and your family's future today. There's a link in the description below. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like that, there's a 1-800 number you can call. And most importantly though, is the kicker. They'll throw in a safe and possibly up to $10,000 in U.S. silver to help you get things started. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. We have. Chairman, these individuals Mr. Chairman, I, I, can't, I can't hear five people at once. Can we have regular okay, order? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, it, the chair I'm, recognizes it's, I'm inquiring, and I was not And I've told inquiring. you that when it comes to whistleblowers, you are not entitled to it. That's these at the discretion of Mr. Allen. Mr. Chairman, these individuals said, have been determined not, not to be agree whistleblowers. To these are not whistleblowers. They've been determined by the agency not to be whistleblowers. Are you deciding that they're whistleblowers? Yes, the law decides. Did you not listen to Mr. Levitt's testimony? Did you not read the law? The his law decides that asserting, they are whistleblowers. His attorney the chair is recognizes that they are the general lady from the New York. Has not the general lady from New York has been recognized. The law has not determined they are whistleblowers. His attorney is just asserting that. Oh, they're mad. Oh, they are so, so mad. And good. They should be mad. They should be mad because they continually twist the words of people. Uh, Adam Schiff is proof positive of this. Uh, his report uh, was so full of lies, but the media 
gargled it and regurgitated it, and now it's the mainstream. It is. It, it is a sad state of affairs. So that's why this whistleblower contacted the Republican side of Congress, not the Democrats, and requested the chairman do not share this information outside of Republican members. This means that the Democrats will not be able to go in there, lie about the story, poison the well, go to uh, the, me the mainstream media and tell them about how this guy might be wrong. And so when the American people finally hear what this whistleblower has to say, they're going to ignore him. It's a non-story. Nothing there is true. The Republicans have finally figured it out. You cannot play in these people's party, all right? You cannot play around with the Democrats. You cannot go to the mainstream media because it is their stadium, their rules, their sport, and you're lucky enough that you're allowed to play in it at all. Republicans, for the most part, are completely unprepared to handle the media firestorm, and that's why Jim Jordan has figured out a new cheat code. Don't give them the story. Let Republican outlets be the first to have the story. Because if you can't be first, you're last, all right? I'm not just quoting Ricky Bobby for a reason. The Republican Party is facing a huge problem. And the Democrats know they have the upper hand. They know they have the media all in their corner playing their story, giving the narratives to other people that really aren't the truth. That's just the reality. I, I wish that wasn't the reality. I wish there was a fair playing field, but there isn't. Because the Democrat Party knows that they have the Republicans in check. They might even have them in checkmate. I am deathly afraid of the upcoming election. Deathly afraid of it. And if the Republican Party is checkmated, we, I'm afraid that it's over. I truly am. And the Republicans do have a good card to play. Force the story into their spheres, into their narratives. That's what Jim Jordan is doing here because he has no choice at this point. And the Democrats uh, in this committee are hopping mad about it. But you know what? Stay mad. Stay mad. We've, we've found one play that works, despite the fact that you have the deck stacked against us. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed that segment here on Politibrol. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.